Get ready for your daily dose of WordPress and web development tips, tricks, and insights to help you find success with WordPress. You're listening to WP The Podcast with your hosts, David Blackman and Tim Streifler. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of WP The Podcast brought to you by WP Gears. I'm David Blackman. And I'm Tim Streifler. Today in episode 586, we're going to talk about how to fix the briefly unavailable for scheduled maintenance error in WordPress. And this is fresh on my mind, Tim, because just yesterday I was making some edits to our website, wpgears.com. If you've not been to our website, head over there and and check it out. This is the home of WP the Podcast. Uh, You can find all of our podcast episodes there, but you can also find some of the courses that Tim and I teach. We've got two. We've got a business course, a Divi business course, and we also have a Facebook course, you know, Facebook ads course. So head over and check it out. But anyways, yesterday I was updating our Divi business expert course landing page. I wanted to make some tweaks. We've got an anniversary coming up. We launched our first class a year ago, August 1st, 2018, which was a smashing success. And you know, this week we've got our anniversary, and consequently, we're about to launch class three uh, in mid August. So, you know, as I was updating the page, I kept getting this error when I would go to hit update, and I really didn't understand why. So, you know, me not being the tech person on our team got our team involved and stuff, and I'll let Tim kind of dive into what the solution is and stuff, but uh, it was kind of frustrating for me. Yeah, absolutely. So WordPress, one of the amazing things about it is you can update software, plugins, themes, et cetera, WordPress itself, right from the WP admin panel. And when you do that, what it does, whether it's WordPress, a theme or a plugin or multiple, uh, you know, plugins at one time, whatever, uh, part of that process, when you hit that update button is it'll create a temporary file in your uh, server called dot maintenance. And that dot maintenance page becomes your homepage very, very briefly. And so if you are doing, say you're updating 10 plugins, you know, that might take, um, depending on the plugins and stuff, I don't know, a minute or so at the most, usually maybe a couple minutes. Well, if you go and visit your website and you're not seeing a cached copy or or whatever, um, then you'll see that dot maintenance uh, page that says briefly unavailable for scheduled maintenance, check back in a minute. And it's because your website is performing those updates. And so WordPress has that temporary maintenance page there that's built into WordPress that uh, is going to show um, during that process. And so um, that's normal. That's just the way WordPress works. Uh, you know, it's not a bad thing. You know, the chances of visitors going and hitting your site at that exact time, you know, is, is, is small, uh, you know, it's usually only a a minute or two. Um, so that's normal. Uh, however, occasionally what can happen is the update script fails, so to speak, and it gets stuck. And so that briefly unavailable for scheduled maintenance check back in a minute notice stays on your site even though it's no longer updating um, or maybe the update failed completely and it didn't update at all, but now your site's not going back to normal. And so there's a panic moment because you're like, where's my homepage? Where's all my blog content? Where's all of this? It looks like uh, everything just uh, <laughs> broke. Disappeared, like obliterated. You, obliterated, yeah. It looks like you broke the internet. And so um, there's actually a really easy, quick way to fix it. All you have to do is go into the uh, root directory of your server where your, your website is uh, and delete the dot maintenance file. Uh, you, you'll, if you see that maintenance uh, page on there, um, then you will see a file called dot maintenance and all you have to do is delete it. So uh, FTP is usually the best way to delete files. Um, Google, you know, setting up FTP or to talk to your host, or if you're using a cPanel host and you can use the file manager within cPanel, 
Um, but that will allow you to uh, delete. You can also use, there's a plugin called File Manager that will let you see all the files on your server uh, within the WordPress admin. And so you can do it that way too um, if you don't have access to hosting or FTP or anything. But yeah, once you delete that file, it all goes back to normal. Um, however, there could be some additional things going wrong. It, for example, if there was a reason why the update failed, and that's why the dot maintenance was getting stuck, then it might happen again if you try to update again. Um, so be aware that that could be the case. You might have to talk to your host. However, um, it kind of just happens every once in a while and gets stuck. Uh, and so a lot of times it's usually, once you delete it, you're fine. You can update again after that and it's gonna be fine, so. Cool, awesome. Well, tomorrow we've got yeah. another great episode. How many mm -hmm. monitors do we need for web design, Tim? This ought to be an interesting topic because we've got some friends that I think are a little bit monitor crazy personally, but <laughs> yeah. I won't say any names. We'll protect the innocent, but it's going to be a fun topic to talk about. Yeah. Tim, until tomorrow, we'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye. We've come to the end of today's episode of WP the Podcast. Join us tomorrow for more daily tips and strategies designed to help you run your WordPress business towards success. Remember to subscribe to WP the Podcast so you can stay up to date with each episode. And don't forget to rate and review us. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on WP the Podcast.